All right, folks, gather round. We've got some hot tips for you when it comes to those $10 bills. You gotta be sharp because there's more to them than meets the eye. Now let's dive right in. When you flip that $10 bill, pay close attention to the back, bottom right corner called the plate position. You know, where all the action happens. You see, during the production process, those printing plates have unique numbers. They call them back plate numbers. But here's the kicker. If the back plate number and the front plate number are different sizes, guess what? You found yourself a mule. So keep your eyes peeled, people. There's a whole world behind those $10 bills. And you never know when you might stumble upon a rare find. Stay curious, stay alert, and who knows? You might just discover something that'll make your wallet and your mind go wild. There are a few distinctive characteristics of $10 bills that you should look out for to avoid unintentionally spending a $10 bill that is worth much more than $10. So let's get started with the video. I wanna draw your attention to one specific spot on the back of this $10 note that is known as the plate position. It is located in the bottom right corner of the bill towards the rear. So to cut a very long story short and spare you the tedious details, Printing plates with numbers are used to create paper currency. Consequently, this is known as a back plate number. Now, generally speaking, unless the front plate number and the rear plate number are different sizes, back plate numbers don't actually matter at all. Therefore, it is a mule. Notably, full transparency there is all that is required in this particular circumstance. The back plate number is irrelevant. However, the face of the bill clearly demonstrates that this is a back-to-front offset printing error. Therefore, unless someone altered it in their printer, a bill similar to this will be valuable if you ever see one. Some people may see videos like mine and attempt to edit bills to make them appear to be genuine errors when they aren't. Getting your paper currency graded by a third-party organization like PCGs or PMG is crucial. As you can see, it received a 58 PPQ rating. That implies that this bill has a fold. There is no fold on this bill, I can assure you of that. For this $10 bill, it would have sold for far more than $180, $39,600. Even though the date 901850 is not very uncommon for $10 bills, this is one of the most famous printing errors in the history of paper money. I would love to have one of these bills in my collection, so if you ever find one, please know that I am very jealous of you. Unfortunately, the price is just too high for my blood. Here's the reason. It's a $10 bill when you look inside the front of the note, right? However, if you turn it over, it's a dollar one bill. Some collectors refer to this item as a dollar 11 bill. Therefore, while printing these notes, the back of the note is really printed first, followed by the front of the note. In this case, the mistake was made because the back of the note was printed, but the sheet was taken and placed in the incorrect feeder, which was printing dollar 10 bills. You're extremely fortunate to have a bill like this because it was stolen for $39,600. I've launched the community for the coin cryptocurrency in my mastermind class. For A, click the following link. I'll see you inside, and I have a video with further details.